Hey everyone, and welcome back to Small Land. Here we go, we are with our gecko, T-Peel, and uh, I've just been spending a couple of hours here looking at the crafting recipes, and you can use the codex to kind of sort out what you need to make the primal armor or the chitin armor, which I think I'm partial to. So I have a little bit of a shopping list. Basically, we're gonna need more chitin and more perptile leather, just a little bit of that, and also, I think we should also look into getting some primal stuff because of the cold uh, cold protection, which is a lot better than the chitin stuff. So we'll try to get resources for both of these. We're just gonna need more bone and herptile hide. So we gotta go <laughs> hunt some geckos. Sorry, t -Peel. If t -Peel dies, that's kind of fine. I don't know if it, it's really hard to protect him, so I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. We'll put it that way. So basically, we're just trying to kill beetles and reptiles and, or herptiles, I guess. And the, the, the best place to do that is, uh oh, run. Uh, down at the beach, so I'll just meet you over there. All right, this is what we're here for. We're here for... I'm gonna fight the green beetle, too, and see how that goes. All right, T-Peel, look out! Just careful, because I think I can probably wound T-Peel as well. You okay? Just, yeah, look out, because you can definitely take a little bit of collateral damage from the, uh, the eating animation there. All right, let's try the green boy. What are these guys weak to? They're weak to blood damage. Whoa, look out! Oh, they're, they're just stacked on top of each other. That's not ideal. There we go, got the kill. Okay, there we go, we're up to three chitin. I think the green beetles are the ones to go with for the chitin. Should be a gecko over here. There he is. Oh, I gotta pay attention, make sure I'm killing the right one here. <laughs> there we go, down. Alright, and it's just morning. I don't know. I killed maybe four geckos and four beetles, four or five beetles, and a dragonfly as well, so I'm a little bit worse for the wear right now. Oh, and a storm is approaching, and I was thinking about going inside this cave here anyway, so that's the the only play here now, I think. And um, I'm just gonna turn on my special vision so that I can see something here. Here we go. Ow! Stop hitting me! Yeah, this should be safe shelter for the night. Not sure what's down here. And I don't have enough resin to make a torch either, so we gotta roll with this. Oh, is this like a, a GPS locator here that I've just stumbled across or a walkie-talkie or something? All right, sun's back out. I think we can leave now. Okay, can you guys not be on top of each other? I don't want to kill my gecko. Take that. Ah, jeez. Yeah, eat that beetle sausage. All right, this next one's gonna be a bit tough. See, this is what my little beachside shack, and uh, these bees are always outside of it. And uh, bees are quite the threat to the gecko. Could I maybe just drop my roach meat? Do you want to eat that? Just put his mouth right next to it. There you go. Can you eat any more? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, just keep eating. I just keep get on and get off. And he see that seems to reset him. Okay, that's good enough. And I just sneak attack on this bee here. Oh, almost killed him with one shot too with a flint arrow. Oh, and it looks like they just kind of dispersed. <laughs> no, no, no. Here they come. Two are down. Oh, almost one shot at him too. There we go, all set. Now we need a little bit of that, that insect fur as well. I think one more beetle here and we should have, hopefully the resources we need. What are we looking at for chitin? Not too bad. I would like to get the chitin armor before we head to, I think it's Lysandra who is the next person to give us like quest missions and things. Like that, there's three more chitin. Can I do a quick repair while I'm down here? Probably things are too far gone at this point. Yeah, for the most part. Well, I got a couple things fixed up anyway, and we'll set this as the respawn point for now. And we can cook up some beetle sausage and jerky. It's not only good for me, but it's good for the gecko. All right, let's work our way back and kill bugs all along the way and just stock up on materials. We'll get all the materials we need together and then we'll head to, we'll have to head back here to get our armor crafted. Jeez, had a big bug massacre here. Wow. Okay, so not we don't need the herptile hide. We need the herptile leather. We need 10 of it. Put the excess away. I've got the chitin. I've got the insect fur. I've got more than what I need. I think we can head out and get our new armor now. Have a quick snack on some red jerky. And do we want to bring this guy with us? Yeah, I suppose. He's a little bit useful. Okay, quick trip over to Scotty. All right, this is the place. All right, let's see if we have everything we need. Chitin helmet, chitin 
Pauldron, Titan Vambrace, and Titan Greaves. Perfect. We don't have enough to make the, the primal stuff. I wasn't focused on that really at all. This will give us a lot of cold protection, so we might have to come back here at some point to get some if the winter proves to be too cold for us. How about this look? That is, that is really nice. Way better than the stone armor. I wonder if she's wearing the primal stuff, because that looks, that looks cooler in my opinion. Fair enough. I think we need to probably head home now and get rid of the stone armor and loosen up the inventory a bit and get ready for our expedition to Lissandra. And she lives in the swamp, and so I'm expecting some nasty stuff out there. Okay, everything's repaired. We've got a full kit. We have healing potions. We have food. We have some resources in case we need to do repairs on the fly or do construction. All right, let's move. Head into the swamp. As far as I know, that's uh, probably where the spiders are because one of the things on the sort of shopping list today is to get some spider silk. One thing that's desperately missing so far are flying mounts. And as I don't think that there are flying animals yet that you can tame, but man, the travel time is like one of the things that's really hurting right now. It's like you'd benefit definitely from having multiple bases kind of spread out over the map, but then you'd have the issue of like, not being able to compile all of your resources in one spot for crafting. So, I mean, I don't know what would be more time effective, making a whole bunch of bases and stocking them with materials for like repair and just storage and stuff and cut back on like all of the travel time, or if it's just better to have one central location and just make the long trips. My goodness, the sun came out for once in my whole life. <laughs> all right, we're heading due west. We should be getting pretty close to uncharted territory. I'm just kind of running away from everything right now. I don't want to sacrifice. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's an old sign. Yeah, I don't want to sacrifice durability on the tools and armor on stupid ants and things that we just don't need to be killing right now. Oh, look, it's a street light up there too. Wow, and a power line. Oh boy, we're heading into, this is like somebody's yard or something. It's like a guardrail, a stop sign. Are these um, garlic things over here? I gotta know where all the resources are, you know? Pop out, what is this? Oh, it's a sapling. What is the sapling? That, oh, that has a bunch of stuff in it. Wood, fiber, and resin. I don't mind maybe just having a couple of these because those are the materials you need to make a workbench. So probably we should set up a camp out here too in case we die, we don't have to walk the whole way back. We'll set up a bed. Okay, that's a big hornet over there. Do you think that that's a different type of hornet? Oh, I see. You can kind of see this terrain here. And then Lissandra is just down there to the southwest. This looks like easy enough territory to traverse. There's also flint here. And, oh. Is that a, is that a cockroach? Yeah. That, um, cockroach. Okay, vulnerable to blunt damage. I don't have anything to use blunt damage. I am intrigued. Are you friendly? Definitely not. Let's fight. Oh, he's super strong. Wow. Okay, yep, TP might be in for uh, more than we can handle here. Oh, TP he's been released. Crap, he's dead. And just kill him before I die. Holy crap, I almost died. Yeah, these things are strong. They even have bones. Oh, they have herptile. Oh, no, sorry, that was uh, that was from TP there. Yeah, sorry, TP I did get, oh, a chitin bow at the workbench recipe. Uh, what else did I get there? First of all, get me some healing. All right, let that roll in. Okay, oh, heavy chitin. Wow, okay, more a denser and more resilient version of the regular chitin. So that's probably made for, used for specialty items like that bow. Okay, well, I guess we're a little bit lighter on our feet now. What is this down here? Is this some sort of, sort of like a metal source, metal deposit? Yes, and um, I can actually harvest this with the flint pickaxe. So we'll see what we get here. Iron shards, and those are used for the spike pickaxe. Okay, definitely thinking that the difficulty in this biome is a lot worse than what we're used to. I was just talking about how things were getting easier and I thought I was scaling well, and <laughs> here we are again. Okay, so before things get degraded too much, let's set up a little bit of a base camp down here in this little trench. Okay, there we go. Activate spawn point and repair all of my stuff, hopefully for free. Looks good. All right, whoa, hello. Oh, it's just a regular bull ant. Scared me. Okay, I don't know, but maybe I should make like a little storage box here as well, just because I don't need to carry a lot of the stuff that I have with me and then I can come back here and get it someday. Like bull ant mandibles and ant heads. Okay, as there is a bit of a storm rolling in here, I think I am ready to roll out. Although this way looks like it's guarded and it's kind of not the way we want to go. I think, 
Yes, it is. <laughs> Never mind. So, do we want to fight or do... Yeah, I just want to go around. I don't really want to fight the cockroach on my own. That was hard enough the last time. Kind of cool if you could tame a cockroach. I could see that having a lot of benefit. Those guys are tough. Oh, do you think that's where Lysandra lives? Is up in that mess over there. A whole lot of bee nests. I hope she doesn't live there. Oh, is that some kind of a house fly? Oh, gray fly. Vulnerable to edged damage. Well, put that to the test here. Wait, are you hostile? Oh, yes, you are, definitely. Oh, they're very vulnerable to the sword. Oh, just look out. Oh, insect egg. Oh, what about that tunnel down there? Okay, good to know about, because that could serve as shelter for us. Yeah, that's not where we're trying to go. We're trying to go this way. Man, those house flies are friggin' tough. I mean, they're not tough, but they, they do a lot of damage. Oh my god, it's like cockroach city over here. One is on to me. Yeah, this is how you get yourself into a real bad position, because I've got to outrun this guy, and I could just run right into another even more big of a problem. Ah, yes, give it up. Good, he's gone. Just walked into some flies, though. These guys seem to run in packs of four. Which just makes them terrible. Oh, is this Lysandra's place? I can see some lights over here. Oh, look, a big knife. Oh, that's pretty cool. And these are actually matchsticks. Yeah, this has got to be the place. Aha. No, this is, uh, Nock. Well, hello there, I guess. She, uh, salvages metal scraps for her inventions. Oh, she's talking about a giant black hornet that flew in from the uncharted lands up north. He set up shop on top of one of the giant metal boxes, and this is the Greylands here is his hunting ground. So she wants me to kill it, and that'll help me craft some highly advanced equipment using his sapphire wings. So I should probably take care of that, I guess. Sure thing. Otherwise, nothing to do here except look at all the cool stuff she's collected. Compass, keys, <laughs> a little guardrail here for a walkway. Okay, so maybe we're like not even in the right biome entirely. Yeah, look at we're not. This is the Badlands up here. There's your Black Hornet over there. We've got to head south now into the swamps. I've kind of taken a weird journey. And then Mermek over there. I never even met him. I kind of must have walked right by him. So from here, we got to go south. Oh, look, a car over there. Wonder if that's something you can explore or if this is like some sort of a natural barrier so that you can't get over there. Yeah, there it is on the map. It looks like it's in the explorable area. This like tan colored area seems to be the map. Yeah, here we go. We're on the edge of the swamp now. That's for sure. And it stands to reason that Lysandra might be on top of that giant tree. Oh my goodness, I see a spider down there too. Oh boy. What are we getting into down here? Oh my god, there's another spider over there. This is just spider country. There's also bark and these saplings, which are good for everything, remember. So maybe time to set up another little camp over here. Not the best spot for one, but um, it could be worse as well. Oh no, building's not allowed. Oh wait, I guess it's allowed over here. All right, quick repair on everything and set this as my respawn point. And um, <laughs> let's, um, let's just do some spying on these guys here. Okay, vulnerable to edged, but resistant to poison, which is fine, because I've got the sword right here. Let's see what I can do against this spider. It's a black widow of all spiders. You couldn't just start me off with a daddy long legs or something, could you? Ah, okay, he doesn't actually do that much damage, except for the fact that he's poisoning me. That's kind of bad. Interested to see what kind of resources we get off of him, though. And, oh, I missed with my final kill stroke. Ah. Oh wow, that actually, he's um, hit me really hard now. Why is that? Wow, I just went down to one health while I was putting my bandage on and there we go, I'm dead. Okay, so good thing I set this down. Uh, that's, to me, very surprising that he was suddenly doing so much damage. Um, can, it, can you take it all, please? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Here we go. Okay, he's, he's dead. Why couldn't I get my stuff out of here? Take all, there we go. Okay, we're good. Back to where we were before. There's some uh, poison gland, spider eye, chitin. That unlocked the chitin axe. Oh my god, I'm just super poisoned. Here, uh, bandage me up and oh my god, take a freaking healing elixir. Oh, I'm struggling so bad with the poison. It's really bad. Okay, that's not surprising. It is a black widow. Black widows can kill like horses and I'm just this little small fry. Right, okay, I've learned my lesson. I need, I need an antidote. That's what I need. And that's crafted at the apothecary table back home. 
Okay, let's try not to fight them anymore. What is that? A nocturnal spider. Ah, even better. Okay, repair. And let's just try to stealth our way to Lysandra and not bother with any more spiders today. Although, we do need more spider silk. How much did I get off of that guy? Two? I think I needed three to craft the bow. Wait a minute. She, sh she might be over here. I see candles. I see spiders in there, too, though. Oh, I see an owl down there. All right, I'm heading in. Is that her? Hello? Are these your pets? Or are these... Yeah, they're... they're I... Uh, well, I don't really know. Jumping spider. Vulnerable to edged. Seemingly not very hostile toward me. Lissandra, you are the creepiest woman I've ever met here. All right, let's talk about that rhino beetle and why it went crazy. She has observed something similar around here, something about a giant albino spider coming out. So she wants me to go kill the spider and bring me one of its eyes. Oh, great. That's gonna require antidote potions for sure. She can craft armor. Oh, silk weave armor using silk thread, textile patches, and spider head, for the helmet at least. Reptile hide, insect fur pretty complicated recipe and would require the death of many spiders. Does really good for protection and piercing resistance and also increases your movement speed. Okay, I feel like we should move in this direction then. Oh, let's talk about an antidote for spider potion. Yes, okay, poison antidote has been unlocked. I thought I had already unlocked that, but maybe not. Good, that would be nice to have. How do I make it? Oh my goodness, I've got the recipe for a lumen spindle now. We're gonna run out of space at the base. Yes, yeah, so we've got stamina tonics, poison resistance, and then poison antidote. That's what it was. Okay, so poison resistance is what we need. We need poisonous mushroom, poison glands, and seed oil. And until we get all that stuff, we gotta be super careful around spiders. Okay, so where does that want us to go? Way down there. All right, I'm gonna make my way over just to at least say that I laid eyes on it. Oh, what is that? It's a giant frog. Oh, the herp tile hide. We could get off of that thing. It must be really good. He is vulnerable to pierce. Oh my goodness, mosquitoes. Oh, seems like every biome has its annoying flying things. Crap. These guys are really strong too. Four hits for a mosquito. I got some new recipes out of it. I wasn't quite paying attention. Blood soup at the cauldron, among maybe some other things. Um, do you think we should give this a try? He's coming our way. He's head vulnerable to pierce. We'll use the spear then. Holy crap, he's huge. Whoa. He does a ton of damage, too. Ow! Okay, just gotta get used to his movements, and I might be able to do this. Oh, nope, oh, maybe not. Ah! Okay. Ow, crap, man. These guys hit hard. Ow! I'm also just trying not to go into the water, because I feel like I might die in the water. Ah! Come on! He's on his last leg! Get him! I got him. Kind of, he's in the water though. Oh wait, no, all of his guts are over here. Toad flesh, herptile hide, among other things. No new recipes though, probably just the same old stuff that we always do. Okay, well, we're also gonna need a lot more bandages to be down here. Got a nocturnal spider over here. No, that's a wolf spider. Yeah, vulnerable to edge. Let's give this a try, I guess. Doesn't sound like a good idea, but I've got to experiment and get better at this biome. Here we go. Oh, I can tame him. I just, it said I didn't have the right treat for it. There we go, killed him. I'm a little bit poisoned right now. That gave me a spider eye. Just get a bandage into me to try to counteract the poison a little bit. All right, wolf spider was not so bad. Is this where he lives? No, I can't go in there. Wait, what do we got here? Oh, the spider cocoons. I need to get the flint shears to make that. Okay, add that to the shopping list. And while we're here, wait, these are edible mushrooms. I need the poisonous mushrooms. My inventory is full though, oh boy. It might be time now to try to get out of here and head home, come up with a plan, and then um, re-equip, resupply, and yeah, because the albino spider's on like the other side of the swamp there. Got another spider over here. I think I'd like to get some more spider materials before I leave. Here he is. Not sure which one this is though. This is a wolf spider again. I've attracted in another one, or maybe he called him in. I'm not sure what happened. It's one down. All right, well, if you're just gonna be standoffish, I'm gonna use the bow. And down. Ooh, I took a lot of damage there at the end. Taking poison damage as well. Oh, and damn, I'm... Uh, storm is approaching. I don't know what to do now. Short of... Uh, oh, is this like a hollowed out log? It's not. I'm um, 
Going to be jumping from lily pad to lily pad, trying not to drown. Giant spider over there. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. This is bad. Just run, just run, just run. Ah, yep, the poison's going to kill me out here. Oh no. Ah. This is it. Ow. Oh, great. Now we got to go back there and get all of our stuff, and the storm is still approaching. Man, I, I might be in a death loop right now because I might die in the storm. I should have known better. I was trying to get out, but I couldn't quite make it. I think this is a snowstorm. I've just, I'm shacked up in this little cave thing. I don't really know what this is, but it's working and it's definitely snowing out now. Fortunately, I have enough cold protection to not be suffering any kind of a debuff, despite the fact that it's winter. Okay, man, that took some doing. And by doing, I mean some dying. And by some, I mean a lot. But I finally got back here and got my stuff and I'm alive. And priority number one for me now is getting the hell out of here. This place is crazy hard. We'll be back with flint shears and poison resistance and antidotes and everything else that I might need to survive here. In fact, I might not even make it out. Ah, nope, I think I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting into the grassy biome. Oh no, there's another spider here. Crap, just roll, just roll up the hill. This is a decent strategy, it usually works. Oh, and bees now, no man. I've made it so far. I think they're fighting each other. Maybe. If I'm lucky. Yes, I'm lucky. Okay, well, if that's the case, I will wait until one of them emerges victorious, and then I'll take them on to get this extra supplies. Looks like the spider won. And now, of all times, I'm feeling cold. Oh, uh, we're actually, we're actually really close to Scotty right now. Maybe this is a good place for a little checkpoint area. There we go. Set my respawn point. Repair what I can, which was everything. Okay. Yeah, we're good as new. Let's go. All right, finally made it back home, and man, the cold is killer. Once the cold sets in, you're like automatically 50% health. All right, I'm gonna craft the flint shears. That'll help us harvest more silk. And I'm gonna make up this spiked pickaxe. And that replaces the flint pickaxe. Boiling up my poisonous mushrooms and combining that with seed oil and poison glands, I should be able to make some poison antidotes and resistance potions. And that didn't go very far. I've got two antidotes and one resistance potion, which lasts for 600 seconds, which is good. That's 10 minutes. So that should cover a foray into the biome to just fight spiders for 10 minutes. Then we'll head back out and we'll make more and then we'll head back in and kill the albino spider. Yeah, just looking through the recipes here, we are really held back by the silk. We need silk, silk thread, and we need fiber string in order to make some of these higher tiered weapons. To do that, we're gonna need the loom and spindle, which we don't have the silk to make. So our next foray is simply just a silk harvesting mission in the swamp. And we will start doing that in the very next episode. Look at this, all snowy out here. That's nice. So we're not only contending with the insects, but we're also contending with the cold now. Lovely. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a night. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.